Hey everyone. So in some previous episodes, we've talked about different sounds that different letters make. So when you put the letters I and G together, they make an ing sound. Let's see if we can think of some words that rhyme with that, like sing, king, ring. A bell can make a ding. So I have an ing word in this story that we're gonna look for. Okay, so this one is playful puppies. I really like this story. It's got real pictures of real puppies. So the mom and the dad, that's called a dog. The babies are called puppies. So if we're working on vocabulary words, let's make sure we know the difference between the dog and the puppy. And this one has two P words for our title, Playful Puppies by Sarah Phillips. So when we're reading, we always want to use our picture clues. So we first take a look at the picture. I see a puppy and I see that the puppy is playing with some kind of a toy. So we see I play with the, it starts with a C, k -k -k car. So I play with the car. Oh, that's so cute. He's playing with a little toy car. All right, we look at our picture clues. We've got our puppy, and this one could be a bear, a teddy bear, or a teddy. So we have to see which one, because those are a couple of different choices. I play with the, it starts with a T, 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 teddy. Is there another word over here for teddy bear? No, just the one word. So I play with the teddy. So I've had some friends that get a little confused and they say, I play with the teddy bear. Oh, but there's not another word over there. So we gotta match up our finger and our words for I play with the teddy, nice. Oh, he's chewing on something red. There's a cute puppy with that red thing. Let's see, I wonder what it is. Is it a ball of yarn? Hmm, let's see. I play with the, starts with a B, 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 all. Oh, it's a ball. It's a special kind of ball just for a puppy. Cute. I play with the ball. Nice. Oh, cute. Look at this puppy. Uh-oh. I don't think he's supposed to have that. I play with the, you put S-H together and that makes a sh sound. I play with the sh shoe. Uh-oh. I don't think the puppy is supposed to have the shoe. That's not going to be very good. Right. Oh, look at this puppy. Is it in some kind of a little circle thing? I play with the, oh, there's that I-N-G I was talking about, R-ing, ring, oh, this is a ring, a toy ring, oh, that's so cute, I play with the ring, super, oh, we've got this puppy with the spots, and up, oh, he's playing with something down here, uh-oh, I play with the, it starts with a P, 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 paint. Uh-oh, I play with the paint. Uh-oh, look what happened. He says, oops, oh no, now he needs a bath. Oh my goodness. So I really like stories like this that have little questions in the back because they help us think and use our good memory. What do good readers do? If we want to answer a question, we can go back into the story. So let's see. Question number one. Can you name two things the dogs played with? Well, there were so many. Let's see. So one thing they played with was the car. Another thing they played with was the Teddy, just one word for this one, only the T word, the teddy. There you go. He plays with the b -b ball. The SH makes that sh sound for shoe. 
This one plays with the, there's our ing sound that makes that ing sound. That's a tricky one. So we have er, ing, ring. He plays with a ring. And the last one that he played with was the p, 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 paint. Very good. So let's see if you can remember two of those. What happened to the dog who played with the paint? Did he paint a picture? No. Go back if you don't remember. Oops. He got all messy, dirty with the paint. Oh my goodness, that happens to us sometimes. So we gotta be careful with the paint. And then sometimes we might need to take a bath after we're all done. Question number three. Which puppy do you like best and why? Oh, that would be a great one to draw a little picture of, to just tell mom or dad, whoever's reading a story with you, you can always tell them what you like best and why. Um, was it because the certain puppy was kind of cute or looked a certain way or was it the toy that they were playing with that you liked? Really good to think about that kind of thing. And then we have our sight words to practice. I love those. Practicing with sidewalk chalk, doing rainbow writing with them. Um, lots of different fun ways to practice sight words. So our sight words in this book is the word I, the, with, ooh, that's a tricky one, and play. Those are super fun words to practice. So find some way to practice those that are fun, enjoy, and have a great day after we have read Playful Puppies. Bye.